Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carl at In Carlson Rating. If you're new to this channel, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Today is a very special video because I am going to be styling this coat from our clothing line. And in this video, I'll be styling it 10 different ways. It's more of sharing with you my favorite go-to vibes when it comes to avant-garde dressing. Also to show you the full potential of this beautiful coat that we just made. So me and my partner, Lorend, just recently launched our clothing line, I think two weeks ago. So the brand is called Neutral Lab. We love the idea of gender fluidity and genderless clothing. Why long coat? I think coats have the ability to be versatile and I think coats are a great investment. The creation of this clothing line came from the intention of having that mix of polished and casual. The main silhouette is just like an elongated bomber jacket. We just made some minimal tweaks in the form of the sleeves, which is reminiscent of a button-down shirt. And the fabric that we chose is the polyester satin. Polyester is easy to maintain. It's easy to clean. I know polyester has a bad rap, especially nowadays because sustainability it's at its core the mission of our clothing line is to have something in your wardrobe that you can wear over and over again that you can easily style so before we begin please like this video and subscribe for a very long while we have been super super obsessed with the with the styling of the row there's something about it that we want to emulate in our daily styling. So the first outfit is reminiscent to, of course, my favorite designer and my favorite brand, The Row. I have picked the Rick Owens Larry gown and I wanted to wear the coat with something light and flowy, hence the dress. And to complete the look, I chose Black Sunnies, the Andy Mulemeester boots and <laughs> my vintage satchel bag from Nina Ricci. Yeah, there's something regal about wearing something monochromatic and long. It just makes you super powerful. And I reckon as I grow older, I tend to choose clothing that are more comfortable and more minimalistic, but with high impact. I may be just wearing a black dress, but I think if, I, if I'm in the crowd, I can still stand out. You don't need clothes that scream. That's why we chose a satin fabric because we wanted the, the whole vibe to emulate a dressy effect. And for the second look, I'm going for a futuristic alien vibe outfit. I'm wearing the Rick Owens satchel and my Rick Owens rule man boots. With my drapey leather jacket from Rick Owens. Long coats can swallow your outfit. The moment that long coats become the central anchor of your outfit, the clothes become the background. So shoes and bags are essential to create a contrast, to create a pop of color. Bags and accessories can be super instrumental in this whole process of styling. And for the third styling, it's actually one of my favorites. When I think of avant-garde, I think about crazy styling, crazy layering of textures. The top is from Yoji Yamamoto mixed with the DIY hair bag that I did and also the Gareth Pugh leather leggings. And to complete the look, I wore my thigh-high boots from Yoji Yamamoto. The styling is a nod to the, the 90s avant-garde look. There is a sense of deconstruction and textures, almost like a Robert Morris sculpture. Summer is over and it's layer season. My main takeaway with layering 
avant-garde pieces is to start with the base, to start with the thin base, and from there you can, you know, play with proportions. I know it's so sickening to hear playing with proportions. If you ever get lost with layering, the main predicament with styling and layering is how how each piece can look different on your body. But with a long coat, the moment you put a long coat or an outerwear, it creates an anchor. Long coats have a great potential to create a narrative to your outfit. So for the next styling, instead of wearing the coat as normal, you can wear it like this as the front. And for this styling, I've used a chain belt as a harness. You know, a single piece of belt can definitely change the whole look. I just love how this long coat can just you know, easily mesh with whatever you have in your closet. This simple coat can be powerful, versatile. And this is not a groundbreaking idea. Vetmore and a bunch of designers created pieces that you can wear both front or back. And for the next look, I am aiming for something feminine but also minimalistic in a way of Jill Sander and the Row and Christophe Lemaire. So the same chain belt that I've used in the previous styling, I've used it as a waist belt to cinch the waist, to create a, an hourglass figure. And to finish the look, I've worn my Rick Owens cantilever boots for a pop of collar and also my low wave clutch bag by just adding bits and pieces of collar, bits and pieces of pretty things. You can definitely change the vibe of the look. I was going for the whole Balenciaga of Demna Vasalia vibe. I'm wearing my Balenciaga tote bag just to create a juxtaposition and my Burberry sunglasses. Ooh, I've been cool. seeing a lot of like shield glasses and I love it. I love how futuristic it can make the look. And I'm wearing a simple stocking boots from Andy Mulemeister. Love the whole look. It's very Euro trash, very dystopian chic. The coat is an instrumental piece. For me, it stands as an armor. It makes you ready for the battle ahead. We believe in the power of clothing. And this jacket is not really heavy. It's very lightweight. It looks dense. It can double up as a blanket or a body bag. You feel like you're protected. You feel like you're in a cocoon. For the next styling, I want the coat to be more of like a dressy blazer, hence we folded the lapel and we folded the cuff to create a polished look. And I paired the, the coat with my, my Margiela tabby boots. That is the universal avant-garde uniform, I guess. And since I'm going for a tailored, clean look, I wore my Rick Owens pants, which is my go-to pants when I need something clean and fitted. I remember when we went to Japan, we have seen a lot of like these young fashion people wearing the Yoji Yamamoto long coat, the, the Comme des Garçons long coat. It's a great uniform. And for the next look, I'm going for my favorite motif, my favorite theme, which is the sculptural look. And because I'm going for the sculptural look, I'm wearing the turbo wedge boots. And to finish the look, I chose my Mason Margiela clutch bag with this exaggerated long fringe. I've worn the coat as a waterfall jacket. See, when I buy something online, it has to tick all the boxes. My main criteria is versatility. If clothing isn't versatile enough, then it's gonna be out of the picture. Clothing should serve two or more purposes in my wardrobe.
I also love pieces that have geometric origami sensibilities. So the jacket, as simple as it looks, you can manipulate the buttons. And I think the mechanism of a simple jacket can shift into a heightened, elevated look just by, you know, tweaking it a bit with styling. And no matter how banal or simple the look is, avant-garde always have an eye, always have the skill to shift the paradigm. Like I know this is an outerwear, a long coat that is meant to cover up, but for this look, I wear the long coat as an inner wear, as a dress. I wore my Radharani vest over it to create, you know, a rather different silhouette. And for this look, I'm wearing Rick Owens sneaker boots, sneaker sock boots with, um, with the Rick Owens Bella pants. Also, the mix of fabrics has created an interesting play of textures. And for my next styling, I just wanted to show you how you can wear an oversized blazer on top of the long jacket from Nutrilab. This is gonna be super helpful if you love layering in the winter or in a colder time. Styling has no rules. As long as you keep everything in check in terms of fitting. In this look, I'm wearing my Fendi blazer over the Nutrilab jacket. So again, proportion play. The JW Anderson crossbody for like an evening going out theme. Or you can wear something like an A4 tote bag. And this is from Jack Mew. We also chose satin to make the coat very auto wear. When I say auto wear, you just put it on and you feel like you're all dressed up, you're ready to take on day. So if you wanna check out our capsule collection, I'll put the link down below for more information because this coat is open for pre-order. We have people pre-ordering at stage, so I'm really happy. Please follow our page at Neutral Lab on Instagram. And you can also visit our website. I'm really proud of what we did here. So that's about it guys. Thank you again for watching and I really, really enjoyed this styling video. And if you wanna see more contents, then please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'll see you again, fam.